complicated situation. So, and he said he wants to be a tip with him reading on it. Because it's that since I can't read, then since we can't see each other a lot, and there was someone there that I met, but no more time. I think I saw it as I was almost last year, my next birthday, and it wasn't not on my June, not on this, the June 27th hour came up. It wasn't even before that. And I didn't even get the test of that. That's how you just been here. Gives you some understanding of what we heard at the beginning, why the eye is involved so many fights and about to be expelled from school. Here's another child, someone younger, second grade. Well, if you have a rat in that box, you have to get off the bus. 
The sign says, no pets on the bus. And there follows a violent argument and disagreement. And the rat gets loose and runs around the room and uh, becomes quite a scene. So this small conflict is typical of the materials. Moving on to chapter three, we get a different kind of conflict. But here, before we get to it, there, there is a, this shows some of the instructional reading material, math, word math. We're working with a silent E word here, where tap plus E gives tape, rat plus E gives ring, cat plus E gives cape, mad plus E gives me. At the end of the chapter with the silent E word, after the silent e word discussed and exemplified in many stories, there was originally a test. As the test, you had to read 18 words out of 20. Go on to the next chapter. Kids hated it. They really despised this test. They did terrible on it. And they screwed up, and they didn't show any of the knowledge we knew they had. And working with the students, they suggested that we make the tower game out of it. Let's play the tower game. You get two dominoes to start. Every time you read a word right, you get another domino from your tutor. See how tall you can make your tower out. Don't let your tutor win. This suddenly became, instead of a, a horrible uh, obstacle to reading, it became the thing the kids most wanted to do. They wanted to play the tower game more than anything else. And that has not changed since that time. So the principles that are involved in the difference between the test and the tower game exemplify competitive emotions. This is a uh, map of the progress that you make in the reading road going from one chapter to the other, one chapter one to chapter 12. It's not our topic here, as we show the increased complexity of the linguistic side. But this indicates the fact that, in this chart, the progress of 47 students in the reading road from start to end point in the year 2009 to 2010. Now, these are from one to 30 tutoring sessions. And the blue spots indicate children's progress in grades one to three, and the red in grades four to six. Now you notice that for those who are just starting and have had only one session, the rates are pretty low. So the kids in grade four to six are not in advance of the kids one to three to begin with. But they do respond more rapidly, and you see that this line indicating the upward progress of the kids in grade four to six indicates that they, with their greater maturity, they can make greater progress. Let's look at some of the stories in the reading room. And to do that, I'm going to switch over to a different program and see what kind of emotions are being called up. Back in progress. First, I have to introduce to you Tony and Ty. Uh, we, the student, do the first thing we do is to introduce to Tony and Ty, who are occupied not with the emotional but with the cognitive side of language. And Tony can be introduced by this little cartoon. The Ty says, "What's up, Tony?" And he says, "Come on, Ty, we're going to help the kids read a little better." Nothing happens. Tony says, so she never came. 
Ah, I just read the wrong word. It said Friedman Park, not Freedom Park. Did you tell her what happened? I never told her. I was too embarrassed that she seen it. Who told us how to tell? Too bad. After that, I got into reading a bit more since the time. So this little background which combines the emotional side of social life with reading. But One Other Rug is one of the first stories in the CBC stories, and it involves a crucial matter which we'll come to throughout the series. We were talking earlier today with the people of Jumpstart about the fact that there's a deep contradiction in our schools. Society and the world tells children, you must defend yourself. If you're a decent person and somebody attacks you and does something wrong, you've got to fight back. That's the message that parents give children, but the school doesn't say that. With the zero violence policy and the general policy of the schools is to simply to say, if somebody should injure you or insult you or hit you, you must not get back, you must go to the principal's office and tell them what happened and inform them. So informing is a big issue. It's an emotional problem that can that bothers almost every child in the school today one form or another. This is an early story shows the beginning of the problem. One on the run. I'm going to read through fairly fast. When the kids read it, it comes out much slower. Last Monday it rained. My mom said, Kevin, it's wet out there. We have a new rug and a new white rug. When you come in, I do not want you to get mud on that rug. I got home. I took off my shoes, so I did not get mud on the rug. So Tony said, what will happen if Kevin gets mud on the rug? And Tim came in. He had mud all over him. I said, Tim, get out of here. You have mud all over you. Tim would not come out. And I tried to get the mud off the rug, but it did no good. There was mud all over that rug all night. And uh, when my mom came home, she saw the mud on the rug right away. Boy, was she mad. Mom said, there's mud on that new white rug. I told you not to get mud on the rug, but you did it just the same. I said, Mom, I tried to get the mud off the rug, but I just could not do it. She said, well, Kevin, you're going to bed at 8 tonight and no TV. I went to bed. I didn't get to watch Monday night football. I said, I want to go to sleep. I could have said something to mom, but I didn't. I was not going to tell my daughter. <laughs> so kids